we just want to play with you just a little bit this is the being in the forest without your ears because if you think about it we've got you we're pointing at you and if you're ready you want to just be ready but now we've scared all of you because we've whack a mold you and so now you're afraid to stand up for fear it might not be you this time but you've been standing every time but you've been surrounded by others and we couldn't separate it out and so we're gonna give it another go here still the one we're pointing at is reluctant to stand now what's that about no 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 we didn't we didn't pick anybody yet it's all right it's all right it's all right now did you really feel bad for her then you've heard nothing from us there's not a reason in the world to feel bad what this is demonstrating is are you ready your inner being is calling you and you want to be a cooperative component and what makes you reluctant what makes you reluctant past experience past experience in other words Abraham pointed over there they embarrassed this one and this one and this one and this one even to the point that the whole audience is groaning oh we're having such a terrible time here this is sort of how it works because you know how we find you you've got a question that is pointed within you and it's a good one and it's a good one for the conversation that's going on here and you're at a point of particular readiness to receive it really you just don't quite know that you are and so we find you because you light up in a unique way so when we point in that direction put your arms down because it's not any of you <laughs> oh that might be a good way to do it <laughs> all right so it was one of you who had your arm up but it wasn't most of you who had your arm up <laughs> so if you think it might have been you put your arm up all right all right you just put your arm up reluctantly at the last moment so your arm is up now everyone put your arms down ah that arm stayed up longer than the others so now stand up if you think it's you <laughs> this is really worth talking about this is really worth talking about I want something that I'm not letting in and why am I not letting it in because there are so many things to consider now it's almost impossible to get there it's not you well then you finally just stood up you want to start walking this way no no yeah all right there we go now, nothing went wrong there you're not in trouble <laughs> but it is worth thinking about what is it that that experience clarifies I'm in the spotlight with others I want it to be me my inner being wanted it to be me so stubbornly that my inner being didn't give up until it was me even though a whole lot of stuff went on that seemed unimportant to the whole of things my inner being was so aware of me and would not stop pointing until the connection happened and because of other things going on a lot of them not anything that had to do with you just a lot of other people popping up around who also wanted it to be them but that's the thing that we want you to take away from this is that we were going to get you we were going to get you even though it hurt the audience's feelings it embarrassed a lot of other people in other words this is something that you wanted and we knew that you wanted and we wanted it and it was a mutual thing and so here we are and we think it was worth it to you I definitely think it was worth it. she thinks it's worth it. absolutely all right <laughs> thank you for oh we've used all your time oh jeez. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you for making this conversation possible. Um, yeah, well, beautiful. Thanks for helping out. Hey, no problem. <laughs> um, I am asking a question on behalf of somebody who means the world to me. Oh, so there's and some struggling. There's part of it. So we know you think that you're asking it on behalf of them, but that's never true. You're asking it on behalf of you. So let's just get that squared away other people are part of your intentionality and you care what's going on with other people but this is your point of attraction so know that as you express it thank you what would you say to someone who had finally found her happy feeling invincible and worthy only to suffer a mental break be institutionalized diagnosed with bipolar treated with multiple medications that leave her feeling completely depressed 
unfocused and lifeless we would say it's exactly like what we just went through wouldn't you yep. Yep. so she's feeling at this point that everything so, that so she wait is so wait I'm feeling about what she's feeling this is, this is the point of this we're going to talk about this but more important we want to talk about what you're feeling about this because we have never worked so hard to get someone in the chair <laughs> okay how I feel about this is that when I look at this person who appears to be suffering I see the wholeness and the beauty of who she is we know you want to but we don't believe you yet we know that's what you want to do but that clarity is not within you if that clarity were within you and we point in your direction there would have been such a connection between you and us that everything else would have been obliterated around you Jerry used to tell the story that when you are clear about what you want and he used the example of walking through an airport try it sometime Esther plays it all the time so you're walking through an airport and you're just sort of drifting a crowded airport and people just kind of bump you and you're stopping frequently to wait for it to clear and then you're looking for an end run where you can get around somebody or you can be very clear about where you're going and be moving in that direction it's like the seas just part for you it's like everyone becomes a cooperative component to your intentionality well that intentionality it isn't a determination as we were talking about in our first conversation it's not determination in other words me using my powerful mind and my invincible being to make things happen it's me connected with source energy who knows what my intention is who is able to influence everything that's going on around me because one who's connected to the stream is more powerful than a million who are not if you are able to connect with who you are then your power of influence is mighty but if you're letting what you're observing especially with someone who you care about so much if you're letting what you are observing be the basis for your vibration even though you say words that sound good and you say words that you really want to feel and mean because you haven't made that jump you haven't harnessed that connection and so you're not more powerful than millions who are not and you can tell it by the ongoing concern and discomfort that you're feeling you got to feel the desire before you can influence it so it works like this just relax you're gonna hear this because you're not far off of this at all we are so enjoying your receptivity this is a wonderful thing that's happening here you know how we began today talking about your inner being and the point of attraction that your inner being has and you and the point of attraction that you have and that those two points of attraction really equal how you feel the more in harmony you are with your inner being the more glorious you feel and the more resistant you are the less wonderful you feel but there's another thing to know about that the more in harmony then the more you've joined that point of attraction so that when you join your inner beings point of attraction that's when it really looks like the universe is just knocking itself out just for you just for you just for you just for you that is such a powerful point of attraction and so in like manner when you are focused upon someone you care about and you're under the influence of what they're living then they're kind of controlling what's going on and you're sort of a cooperative component to what you don't want and your emotions indicate that but if you've gotten out ahead of it if you've meditated if you've segment intended if you've daydreamed if you've quieted your mind if you've distracted yourself from the details of that enough that you are beginning more and more to tune to who you really are so that you're standing on this subject with your inner being and what your inner being knows now because you're human and you can be seen and you can be felt and you can be heard the words that come out of your mouth carry a vibrational stream with them so there's a different stream that comes out of your mouth when you're tuned in with your inner being than comes out of your mouth when you're tuned into the problem so you've joined your inner being in the solution not the problem and you're more powerful than millions who are not and now you can be witnessed by someone else in the same way that your inner being has gathered you up you can gather them up that's what the power of influence is but you can't fake it lip service doesn't get it it's like when your gas gauge says empty you don't put a happy face sticker over it because you don't want to face it oh no my gas gauge isn't empty it's not empty it's not empty see it's happy face on it 
till you run out of gas and then you peel it off and you go, oh yeah it was empty I just didn't let myself know it and so if you want to help somebody you got to get feeling really good about where they are which means you got to look at this part of them not this part of them when you look at the solution when you look at the wholeness you use those words but the words weren't backed up by vibrational expectation you see so that's the basis of it everyone got it yeah don't let people talk you in to responding to their problems don't let your observation of their problems be the basis of your vibrational offering because you won't help them and then they're the reason that you're not in alignment with who you really are